Wilson, buddy. That's a great day. And, uh, you can promote somebody in combat. Whenever you can promote somebody to the rank of Colonel 06, that's pretty huge. And so it was my opportunity when Paul asked me to come down here today to promote him. And uh, I think all of you that have served with him closely know the difference that he's made with the rocket science. And it's just been an honor to have him with us. And uh, I can talk a little bit about him. Talk a little bit here in the office. He's had a pretty interesting career. Uh, went to some place called, they didn't have a very good weekend in Penn State, right? And uh, some place in the of Florida, I think, beat him. But went to uh, the Penn State, did his first tour as lieutenant in the 82nd, did second in 325. He was a white fellow. Uh, went from there, went to Germany. Third ID before they moved back to the States in the 1st Armored Division. He commanded uh, two companies in the 1st Armored Division. Uh, he went to Joint Task Force Philip County in Hawaii and they did that great mission. We're looking for a few of them both in Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam. He went to Commander General Staff College. Uh, went back to Hawaii with an IG for a while. Went to West Point, commanded for a couple of years. Stayed on West Point for additional two years and was the SGS there. And uh, in between all that, we had several different deployments, whether it was Yugoslavia, whether it was uh, Desert Storm, Desert Shield. And then uh, moved his family to Tampa, went to Alaska, was a DCO, linked up with them in Iraq. And he stayed with them and they finished the tour. Immediately came to Fort Campbell, became the DCO here and deployed. So he's been away from the family. So the only bad thing about doing this promotion is that uh, his family could not be here with him. Hope we'll get some pictures here. We'll send it back to Jill and the five kids back there. In between all that, I asked him to command the BSTB for a while. So we were in between commanders here. He did an awesome job with that. Paul, really appreciate you stepping up to do that. Along with all your other duties at the uh, Rock 6 and the Rock 6. So, you know, the Army promotes folks based on potential. And uh, we made a wise, wise decision here. So, it really is my honor and privilege to have the opportunity to promote you. And uh, unless there's somebody out here that thinks that we should not do this, you have the opportunity to raise your hand and so come forward. Once in a while it happens. Attention to orders. The President of the United States has reposed special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of Paul S. Surratt Jr. In view of these qualities and his demonstrated potential for increased responsibility, he is therefore promoted in the United States Army to the rank of Colonel, effective 1 January 2011. Signed, Gerald T. Mayer, Chief, DA Promotions.
Pakistan. Thank you very much for uh, sharing this special moment. Um, there's a couple of things I want to say, and I want to make sure I uh, don't forget anybody, and I will keep it short. Uh, I'm trying to stay within the uh, normal five minutes of the brief on the regular time. Um, there's a lot of people I'd like to thank, and uh, although I'm only going to mention a few right now, I've learned a great deal from everyone I've served with over the years, and I can honestly say that all of them and all of you have contributed to this promotion. I thank God that I've been fortunate enough to serve for this long and meet this many great people of all ranks uh, throughout my career. Gerald Campbell, thanks again for the opportunity to serve again with three meetings, and more importantly, uh, to me right now, uh, for doing the honor of promoting me today. And I did forget when I was talking to Bob, they did happen to come back. Be the S3XO in one winning sense of that. Some place in that career as well. So. Colonel Luan, uh, thank you very much for bringing me back to the Rocket Science site unseen. Uh, and also for the room that you've given me as, the, as your deputy, uh, the mentorship, support, and friendship you've shown me. I'm very privileged to be your deputy. Thanks also uh, to the battalion commanders, the sergeant major, the uh, brigade staff, all of you here, and the commission staff for making this job enjoyable despite all the challenges. Uh, this is a very, very tough business that we're in, and there have been many ups and downs through the years uh, with a number of challenges that we've all faced. But the thing I remember most is the people I serve with looking back as well as forward. And uh, I can tell you it means a lot to be able to stand here with folks that I share past triumphs as well as hardships. So it's great to see Command Sergeant Major Patton out here, Chief Britton, and Sergeant American, among uh, many whom I've served with multiple deployments. Um, kind of hard to believe now that it was then Staff Sergeant Patton and First Lieutenant Surratt in the same company back in Desert Shield, Desert Storm. And uh, about 10 years ago, since I came over here with 1187 with uh, a new warrant officer, Jim Britton, and uh, 85 Sergeant American Supply Sergeant, to see them move up as well. Um, there's also a number of people who, who are here who I would like to mention who have had a great impact on my career. And so I'd like to recognize retired Brigadier General Richard Eaton, General Robert Caslin, Colonel Burke Thompson, Colonel Ron Corcoran, Command Sergeant Major Jerry Taylor, General Frank Rosinski, General Mike Winnington, Sergeant First Class Titus Newborn, Colonel Mike Ferrario, and Major Fischiar, Henry Fischiar, among others. My thanks to them and to all of you. Finally, I'd like to thank my family who can only be here today with me in spirit. They've always been there, providing me support, love, and most importantly, keeping me grounded by reminding me what's most important in life. Uh, with that, I just want to thank all of you again for uh, joining me out here, and I look forward to continuing to serve with all of you. Rock us on, Paris all.